Hey everybody, Natalie Cutler Welsh here, the go-to girl for making social media and networking easy, fun, and fabulous. I also love shining the light on women entrepreneurs who are doing amazing things. They are spreading their word, and I want to help them spread their word and do incredible things. Now, someone here that I've got today, Olivia Potter, is doing amazing things. She's from Sacred Earth Tours, and we're going to talk a little bit about that, and the topic that we're going to talk about is following your heart. But before we do that, I want to meet your special friend that you've got there. This is Felice. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Felice. Felice is a little griffon puppy that I hand reared because that is another um, pro. Well, it's more than a project. I've been a kennel club registered breeder of griffons for the last seventeen years. Wow. Um, so she she's special though because she's the first ever black and tan that we've ever bred. Um, and she was born nine days premature, which is almost unheard of to survive. Really? So in um, dog years, it's, it's magnified. It's okay. massive. And she was so tiny that I literally took a photo of her next to a tiny teddy biscuit for scale. And so she fit it into my hand like that. Wow. And I used, basically I went, I did round the clock feeding of her and I also used the quantum essences, which I am, I'm a quantum essences practitioner. Um, and yeah, that was amazing. I definitely pulled off a wee miracle with that one. Wow. Oh my God, she's behind you or someone. Oh, it's a cat behind you. It's the cat. Yeah. <laughs> That is so cool. So um, this is interesting because we're, we're talking about today, we're talking about following your heart. And obviously, if you've been doing that for 17 years, your heart is in it. I have. I have. That is pretty much my, it's not a new thing for me um, because I'm the sort of person that I can't do things that I don't love. Mm. And it's made it a challenging life for me, you know, because obviously it took for me to become an adult and realize that I can actually make money from things that I love. Um, because we, as children, we're sort of told that you've got to work really hard. You've got to push, you've got to, you know, good things come to those who, who, you know, like slave their guts out. And <laughs> so we're given that message really strongly that, um, you know, if it's not easy, if it's easy, it's not really a job or a profession and you can't make money out of it. And I challenge that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, other than the, other than the dog breeding, tell us a little bit about what you're up to now and your journey to get there. Yeah. Well, I, um, I've been plan. obviously I'm frantically planning tours, all of the next ones that are coming up in April of next year. Um, I've basically honed the itinerary with uh, Deb Rowley and then the next one after that is with the amazing Karen Crichton um, who I actually had a conversation with this morning and we've got it all down on paper what we're going to be doing um, so that's really exciting and then it's just you know all of the day-to-day -day helping of people that I do because that's that's just me um, I, I run my own business, Angel Messages by Livy, and that's, um, you know, like personal coaching and just general uplifting. Um, so that's, you know, that's my day-to-day -day thing. But obviously my baby is now Sacred Earth Tours. Wow. So that's cool. So you've got, I, what I love is that like a lot of entrepreneurs, actually, they've got a few things going on because they are usually quite creative, you know, risk-taking, action-taking people. Yeah. And when in their heart of hearts, they just want to help in the way that reflects the talents and the gifts that they've got. So you with your angel, angel, what is that? Angel messages. Yeah. yeah. Right. Angel messages by, <laughs> by Libby. So that's obviously an area where you've got a gift for um, helping yeah. people to interpret meaning and, and into things in their life. And then with, now with the sacred earth tours coming up, you're, so it's not just a tour. I want to. So we will talk about that because I'd love to. I'd love to find out what is it about these tours that is different from like traditional traveling and other tours that people might find. Well, it, I don't think that could be any more different because um, you know your average tours are just taking you to the places and going here. Here you go, enjoy. Um, whereas we are harnessing the power. Of, of these incredible spots that we're going to that have been known to 
create huge shifts for people, um, spontaneous healings, um, awakenings, you know, like all these different things. And so we are going to, you know, take you to these incredible places and then also help you to work through any things that you might have come up um, or help you to find what your true calling is or what those messages that your heart is giving you to actually turn the volume up and start listening instead of getting caught up in your mind and getting sucked into all these day-to-day -day issues that really don't help you at all. Um, so I feel as though all of the gifts that I have have all been, are all coming together in this beautiful synergy of me being able to harness the power of these places and also help to create miracles and transformation for people. So I love that you're mentioning about some people, they don't know what their true calling is. And I think, I think a lot of people actually don't. They're like, I, I, I don't know if I'm on the right path. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing. I'm not really sure what I was brought here to do. I think a lot of people, hopefully, I mean, there are a lot of people in the world that don't even question it. Like, they don't even think about that kind of stuff. But for those yeah. that do, it can be frustrating not knowing, right? And you're looking for the signs and the indications. So I love that you're actually taking people away from their physical, usual environment. Not only that, to hand look, picks locations, right? That you That's right. have, you know, they have the opportunity for people then to not only go, here, here you are, look at the view. It's like, let us help you to experience and work through and process. Yeah, exactly. And that's just it. I mean, I want to help as many people as I can to find their bliss and to literally know that know that if they do what it, what is in their hearts, that they will be so supported and everything will just fall into place. But, you know, we don't – it's not our natural um, – way of thinking you know because like I said we we get told that you know that's if it's easy it's not right you know that it's not um that you're not working hard enough but the real flow and the real um you know like real transformation comes from actually trusting our inner guidance and what and the whispers of our heart um but the heart is very is a lot quieter than our mind you know so our mind quite often overtakes everything and convinces us that no we can't have that we don't deserve that it's um it's not possible you know and I want to and I definitely want to help people find that and trust it yeah I think um I think a lot of people even with following your heart when I I was doing a um doing a blab earlier on, on the topic and we were talking about some people like us will be in a business and they'll kind of tweak things like I mentioned that I started off doing the parenting thing but it really got to the point as my kids got older and I was like it just wasn't filling my cup anymore it wasn't I wasn't following my heart by continuing to talk and blog and podcast about that I was like I just want to hang out with my kids I don't want to talk about them all the time but really what started to rock my boat, so to speak, was my business, the go-to girl business, right? So, you know, where I'm helping women entrepreneurs. And I think that is the secret for a lot of people when you're in business is to listen, like you said, to your, to the signs, the shoulder taps, the, mm -hmm. the heart, instead of just focusing on the logic and like the amount of money or the amount of time you've already poured into something. You don't have to do a massive dramatic change. Like mine actually is a very, they, my two areas merge quite nicely on top of each other. Mm -hmm. But I think for other people, whether they be in a business or in a job that they don't love, you know, sometimes making that transition to, and just moving your life towards something that you actually love doing, like where you're actually following your heart is so, so important. It is. And that's an interesting thing about Sedona is that I found um, after spending time there that it's actually full of people that have followed their hearts and ended up in Sedona. I, you know, I met this amazing woman that... Is it in Mexico? Where is it? In Sedona. It's in Arizona. Is it in Arizona? Okay, it's in America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Oh yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not doing Mexico yet. I absolutely love Mexico, but that is a whole nother kettle of fish. Oh my okay. god, you need to be um, insured up to the eyeballs. <laughs> okay, so we're staying in America for this. We're staying in America, and yeah. So going back to the follow your heart thing, I met this incredible woman in Sedona, um, one of many, uh, that has a crystal shop there called Follow Your Heart, and she was originally a cor- you know corporate lady working. Um, in the on the east coast you know in new york or something like that earning huge money um but absolutely she was so unhappy she felt like her soul was dying and she had this amazing um calling to want to go to sedona you know and the way that the universe works can be quite incredible how it presents these little opportunities and these little breadcrumbs you know that lead you to a certain place and she went to Sedona and just absolutely fell in love with it and she received this amazing intuitive guidance that she needed to give up her life in in New York she needed to sell everything trust the universe and move out to Sedona (laughs) she did that you know she said that all of her friends thought she lost it you know and what the hell are you doing you know how could you do that she moved to Sedona and within two weeks she met her soulmate and that was it, bam, click. You know, then she had, she's got this amazing crystal shop. The woman has energy just vroom, like a sun radiating out of her because she is in such alignment, you know, and that is what so many people are lacking is that alignment and just pure joy of living out your life purpose. And do you find the same, I mean, that's quite an extreme story where she's like, you know, gets this, um, I know, yeah, her corporate life was so maybe not, I mean, which is so good that she actually, that's not for everyone. Yeah. She actually listened. A lot of people wouldn't have, or they would have listened to the friends who said, you're crazy, you're crazy. But do you find that a lot of people that come to you for the angel messages side of your business, do you find that they are in a state of wondering and what their true calling is and looking for some Absolutely. Absolutely. It's something that I hear all the time, you know, that they, they know that what they, their life as it stands is not the right, it's not right for them. It's not a fit. It's like a shoe. I love this analogy. It's like a shoe that doesn't fit anymore mm. you know? and you keep going back to it and you put it on and it feels like shit, you know, it, you're like instantly, oh my God, I've got to get that off. But they don't know they're in between. They're not sure where they're meant to be going and where the next pair of shoes is. They're, so they're in between. And so it's such a, you know, I just love to sit down with people and to actually nut it out. What is it that you love? Mm. Because that is where, where your answers lie, is what is in your heart and what actually makes your heart sing. I love that you use those, those words. I mean, I, it's so funny because what we do is so different, but similar quite often what we do is really similar is we help people rediscover what they love to do. Often when I work with people, whether it be parenting or or business, it's like, what, what do you love to do? What fills your cup? I use that phrase a lot. And some of the time, especially for the moms, right? The moms of the young kids are like, I don't even know what my hobbies are. I remember when I got asked what my hobbies were, I'm like, hobbies like I don't even know what you're talking about do you know what I mean yeah, I know get into that state. <laughs> and so I think it's so great to have just helping people with whatever tools to rediscover not sometimes remember but sometimes rediscover absolutely what it is that fills their cup brings them joy lights their fire whatever you want to call it um yeah. so that they can tweak their life yeah I call it lifestyle design so yeah. more of that and really follow their heart I love it yeah it's like giving, finally giving them permission to actually go, hey, what is it that I want? You know, because as mothers, because, you know, I have three children myself, um, I know exactly how it is, you know, that everything revolves around our children and we're sort of the last one to, to have everything, you know, the last one to eat, the last one to have a shower, the last one to, you know, you know when is there time for me? But I'm so lucky now, you know, that I get so much back from what I do that I don't feel like that anymore because I know that I am out there and I'm helping people. And so it does fill my cup. You know, I feel um, 
constantly inspired and you know I say that I still have my days where I'm like what is this all for you know and the wheels fall off and we have to bring ourselves back and and realize that oh my god actually my life is pretty great you know so I think that that's some something that you know don't think that you're alone you know in having those moments we all have them as much as we people might think that you've got everything nutted out it's a part of life you know like the moon and the and the tides you know things go up and down and that is okay Mm. you know and so I think it's giving yourself permission as well to have these days where you just don't feel like it and you don't know. And that's okay. And it's um, being kind to yourself, isn't it? And, um, and not expecting um, everything to be great every moment of the day. I think that's so true. And sometimes I think when we are in a, in a low time and I think, you know, before we've talked on other calls, I've talked about seasons and ebbs and flows in business, Mm -hmm. but sometimes when you are at a low point, it actually is a good time to reevaluate, to take a step back and, and, um, you know, I'll use a different process than you. I use my money love matrix, but which helps people look at the services they're providing, how they're helping people. But what out of all those things do they actually love that bring them money, don't cost them too much time and fills their cup and brings them joy. I think it's such, it's a good time to take a step back and really just reevaluate and tweak things. So yeah. I would love to hear a little bit more about your trip coming up because you said you've got something in April next year. So when is the Sedona trip? Um, the, well, we're doing, so we're actually going to be going to Sedona again in April next year, twice. Right. Um, and because I'm just, I have such a connection to it and it's because we have made the tours all slightly different with different people. So it's going to, you know, um, offer a whole lot of different options. What's the first Um, one that's coming up? Yeah, the first one that's coming up in September is with Catherine Newton, which has been an amazing journey for me going from um, a person just sitting in her audience at Inspire and Ignite and basically deciding that I want to be friends with her. Yeah. Um, and that was back in no- November of last year. And um, since then, things have just gone, I, you know, it's like I place my my order with the universe mm-hmm. and the way that it's there has aligned has just been incredible and Catherine is you know for anyone who knows her is just amazing yes so we have got together and you know came up with the whole theme of follow your heart because she is a real um, believer in follow following your heart as well that is totally how she lives her life so we've got this one in, in Sedona which we will be spending five days in Sedona and five days in New Mexico. Um, so we've got an amazing blend of Catherine's style, you know, with basically up leveling you in every area of your life. So it's going to be business. It's going to be personal. It's going to be everything. And she's so good and, at, at man, like looking at your blocks, your money blocks, your story. Exactly. Man- exactly. I mean, and you know, and the thing is, is that just resonates throughout your whole life, you know? So what, what one block that you might have, it's linked to everything else. So, you know, we're going to be taking a really good look at all of that. And, um, you know, we're doing guided meditations. We're doing a full moon ceremony. So we're going to take those blocks and we're going to release them. And, um, and then we're doing an amazing Native American component as well in New Mexico. We're going on an adventure with a Native American elder for a day. Wow. And then we're doing a traditional Native American ceremony. So we're blend, doing a really amazing blend of spiritual and practical. And, you know, so it will be for everyone. You know, if you're guided to it, come along. We, I just actually... All I know is that we are going to be creating some magic and miracles and it's going to be incredible and also having a lot of fun along the way. That sounds amazing. Can you show me? I know you've got a little brochure or something. So that, yeah. show, tell, tell us where people can find out more about it. And I guess that's the image that they might look for if they see it. Yeah, in- yeah exactly. That's yeah. pretty much my the image that is running through as a theme. Um, so they can go on my website, which is sacredearthtours.co.nz, and we have all of the information that you might want to know um, about what we're doing, when, where, how much, 
all of that sort of stuff. So it's very comprehensive and you can get the low down there. And then I have the, you know, like two other amazing tours in April, one with Deb Rowley, um, the Spiritual Alchemy Tour, um, Manifesting Miracles. Where's that one going? That's in Sedona as well, um, but quite a different um, itinerary. We're going to be doing all different workshops, and anyone who knows Deb knows how magical and, and transform transformational she is, so that I'm really looking forward to that as well. Um, and then I've got the amazing Karen Crichton uh, at the end of April, and we've just set um, all of the, got all the information together for that. So that's going to be the Earth Magic Tour, Aligning Mind, Body, and Spirit. Wow, this is so cool. The other thing I'm loving about this as well is, as people know, my, one of my philosophies is really all about collaborating with other amazing people and aligning yourself with people that you admire and that you just have the same, you're on the same vibe. And I feel like... Yeah. That's, you know, your, when I, when the few times that I met you in person, I can feel your energy and that you are so on path. And also the fact that you've teamed up with these specific women and you've got these different events. I mean, I feel like you are, you are completely following your heart. Yes, you're absolutely right. Like what you just said there is ex my exact vision that I knew that the best way to really create magic for women is to team up with other incredible women, you know, because now we, we are in the age of Aquarius, which is, all, is divine feminine. You know, it's all about working together to create magic because, of course, together we can create so much more, you know, and it just amplifies the energy. And, you know, I'm not one of these people that thinks that there's not enough to go round or if someone is competition. Mm -hmm. I'm the total opposite. I embrace everyone and I want to just work together and create the most magical experience for people and spread the love. Well, it sounds like you're definitely doing that. That is so, so good. So um, you mentioned your website. How can people get in touch with you specifically if they want to either find out more or share their thoughts about our topic, Following Your Heart? Well, I've got, I've got Facebook pages. I've got my angel messages by Livy. I've got Sacred Earth Tours NZ. Okay. Or you can email me directly at olivia at sacredearthtours.co.nz. Um, my phone number is there on the website as well. So anyone that wants to know more can just give me a call. I'm always happy to be of assistance. They might ask you to do an angel card reading to see if they should go on your trip. Sure, you know, and I absolutely, I'm always up for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. Awesome. Thank you so much, Olivia. Is there anything else you want to add about following your heart or any last message before we wrap up? Um. Yeah, follow. I my message to everyone is get out of your mind mm -hmm. and into your heart, and then get out the way and let it show you the path. And you will never ever go astray, and you will enjoy the ride so much more <laughs> without fear and without limitations. So follow your heart. Wow. I love that. That is so good. And it really gives people a sense of what you're all about as well. So thank you so much for today. And everyone who's watching this, or if you're watching the replay, then go ahead and comment and let us know about your journey with following, following your heart as well. That was a fly. <laughs> a fly wants to follow. Ah, thank you, Nat. <laughs>